Topic number one today, Carter, a uh, good friend of the program, Tristan Freeman, the aforementioned trash man, Freeman, as uh, Malik referred to him from bustingbrackets.com. Uh, he has Big Ten offseason grades, and I am fascinated by these, and I want to talk about these, Cart. So I'm going to pull up Tristan Freeman's grades, and we're going to go team by team, and we're going to say the grade that Tristan gave out, and then we are also going to give our grade because we haven't done a formal off-season grades thing up until this point. Any questions before this exercise begins? I'm scared. Why are you scared? There's no reason for me to be, but I just am. Understood. Uh, any busting brackets, Tristan Freeman thoughts before we get into this? Just know I love you, Tristan. His first sentence in this article is, it's been a big off-season in the Big Ten these past few months. I'm out. I'm <laughs> out. I'm completely out. I'm sorry. I love Tristan. I wrote for Busting Brackets for a while. I'll never forget, uh, Tristan Freeman employed me for a little bit. and It was a fun time of life. It really was. Okay, uh, so here's here's what I think we want to do. We'll read Tristan's grade, and then we can obviously give ours, but do we want to... Do we want to make this more simple? Do we want to play like higher, lower, or just like agree, disagree? Or do we want to grade Tristan's grade? Ooh. <laughs> no, because that'll get too confusing. But let's just go higher or lower. Why don't we just give our own grades then? <laughs> Here we go. All right. The first team up is the Illinois Fighting Illini. Tristan Freeman gives them a B for this offseason. Uh, you can read his elaboration. We won't read any of his elaboration on these as we go. Go read his article. B for Illinois is what Tristan gave him. What would you give their offseason grade? Um, I was a. I think the transfer class. I'm a little bit underwhelmed with. So, I personally would go like B plus or A minus range, but I think it needs to be either one or the other. Just to get nitpicky there. This is what I asked last year when we did offseason grades, but we're we're taking into account like just everybody who lost, right? Even if they had no way of avoiding losing them. Do we have like do we have to say like they lost? I don't know. We we need to figure out how we're doing this because like if I'm supposed to evaluate Shannon and Damask are gone. No, I I think evaluate it on actually guys that could have got back. So okay. you can you can leave Coleman in the fold for this. Okay. But I will not let you include Terrence Shannon or Damask. So Coleman, Sincere, Amani, Dane, Luke Goody, Moretti are the six that I'm allowed to evaluate here. And then the guys that took a step forward and came up. Yep. Um, I think it's an A minus because I think Kasparis is a superstar. Yeah, that's a, that's okay. That's what I feel good yeah. on. So we're higher on Illinois' offseason than uh, Tristan Freeman is. That's fascinating. Okay, next up is the Indiana Hoosiers and Mike Woodson. Tristan gives them an A plus. I agree. Even though they like lost Liam McNeely and there was like, maybe we're going to lose our head coach too. We're going to run him out of town. I think I'd still give him an A plus. Just bounce back A plus. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to give them an A. I'm going to give them an A. It's obviously a great off season. I wish they got another proven shooter beyond Luke Goody. That's the one thing I think they kind of didn't maneuver. And I mentioned it when they brought in Landon Hatton. I would have rather brought another legitimate sniper shooter than Landon Hatton. Uh, next up is the Iowa Hawkeyes B minus from Tristan. Ah, uh, I would. I'm thinking more like C minus. I mean, yeah. they didn't bring in many impact transfers. Yeah, they just got, they got Peyton Sanford back. They lost Tony Perkins. Patrick McCaffrey left his dad's team. Is there an is this F? I give it a D. I go D plus. I don't think it was good. Next up is Maryland. Tristan gives them an A. Ooh. I mean, they brought in Miguel, which I like. I like McQueen. I'm sorry, my McQueen. Derek Queen. I'm more of a Julian Reese truther than others. I think he's very productive. I love Gillespie. I think he's going to be incredible. Um, You said Tristan gave him a B? He gave them an A. I'll give him an A. Ah, that seems a little... Little bit too strong for my liking. I would probably be more in like the B minus range. Okay, I'm gonna give them an A, A minus, because I don't think it's as good as Indiana's. But um, bottom line is this you lost nobody good. Like Jamie Kaiser's probably the only guy I would even want back from the group they lost. 
And uh, Jacoby Gillespie's great. I like Rodney Rice more than I like Kaiser. I believe Selton Miguel can be a good piece. Uh, I think they they got rid of five bad players and added at least two and a half good ones. I think that's an A minus. Next up is the Michigan Wolverines. Tristan gives them a B plus. <laughs> Where would you go with this? Well, I just have some quite like how are we sitting here saying Maryland is like an A, but like just as a Michigan fan here. Like my off season is defined by swapping Jawan Howard for the coach Louisville wanted to hire. Like, how is that not like? I, unless we're just doing roster stuff. Like this has been a great off season, even if we're missing something. So, like I'm, I am happy I get to watch basketball again. I don't. I, the, the plan would have been like Terrence Williams again, year five, and instead like Danny Wolf's good, Vlad Golden's chiseled, Roddy Gale I love. And we have promising young dudes and a coach who isn't going to punch people or assault a staff member. A, that's how I feel. Like we're on the top 10 list for transfer classes. How are we a grade and a half behind Maryland? I'll go B plus. <laughs> that's what Tristan went with. I think it's at least an A minus, man. Like if you want to dock it a couple points because they didn't get a star guard or something, fine. But like vibes, vibes couldn't be much higher for me after what I came off last year. Yeah, it was a B plus. Yeah, okay, A minus. Michigan State. B+. Ooh, Tristan is capable of giving out a negative grade. He gave Michigan State a C minus. Uh, I'd say like I'd say uh, a like C plus. C plus. That's the lowest grade you've attempted to give out thus far, right? Other than Iowa. There you go. See, I think we kind of whiffed getting uh, a Big Ten level starting center. I think we did a good job of getting guys like Book back, given that the fact he could have transferred. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I liked, I like the freshman. Um, I like Kurtang. Ah, uh, yeah, C plus though. Kind of underwhelming. Fiddler's a good ad, but I go C plus. Okay. Yeah. C minus I... maybe. If we were allowed to answer this question objectively by the same rubric that we evaluate every other school, I would give this an F off season uh, because Michigan state has access to money. They refuse to use because their head coach won't do it. So if, if other schools did that, we would probably just give them an F, but since we have to handle Michigan state with kid gloves and act like they don't have that money, then I think this is a B plus. I think Frankie Fiddler's pretty good. And yeah, I mean, you have a new face that isn't Mati Sissoko. We got a worse center than Mati Sissoko. Maybe, but Frankie you know, Fiddler's we did. good. We did. Frankie Fiddler's good. Yeah, we down, We managed to downgrade the center spot. Yeah. Yeah. Kid gloves. B+. Plus. Minnesota's next. Uh, they got a C. I think Minnesota... <laughs> I don't know how they get a C. Because they get the – because I mean, I guess a C, they kept Austin Garcia. But they, besides they that – They kept Austin, yeah. Besides that, they lost everybody else. They added a lot of good guys, though. Like, they added a bunch of dudes who did score double figures. And do you think their grade's correct? I'd probably just put it at a C because I don't know how good any of these dudes will be. They were productive. A lot of them were productive. I – uh I don't think they got a better guard than Elijah Hawkins, and I don't think they got a better big than Pharrell Payne. But I do think bringing Dawson Garcia is back, and I think they definitely added depth. Like, they'll be a deeper team than they were last year. So, i go C. Yeah, okay, I'm good with that. Nebraska, Tristan gives them an A-. minus. Uh, A- minus might seem be a little bit high. Um, I believe in Asijan and Griffiths. Um, also think there's a world where I'm gonna butcher his name. Is it booked in cell? Booked in cell. Booked in cell. Um, might be, you know, great value rank mass, maybe in another world. Um, but I go B. plus I'm giving it a solid A. Uh, it's Nebraska for starters, and I like Gavin Griffiths and Connor Asesian and Burkett. Like, you added three dudes that I think at least one of, if not two, if not all three, are going to be good. I think you brought some nice pieces back. You really didn't lose anybody you care about that could have came back. You lost guys that graduated, and then you lost bit players who didn't do anything. 
So all in all, um, just because you didn't lose much and you got some talent dice rolls, I'll give it an A. Northwestern is next. Tristan gave them a B plus. Uh, doesn't that seem high? Yeah, I mean, I, unless you really like Jalen Leach, which I know a lot of people do. I like Jalen Leach, but even at even with Jalen Leach, like you lost. I guess they didn't have a chance to get Boo back, but like, the, yeah, the only guy who went out that they could have retained is Parker Strauss. So you're really evaluating them on losing nothing and adding Jalen Leach and Keenan Fitzmorris. All right, I'll go B plus. Honestly, with that, I'm going to give it a B plus because you could have lost Ty Berry or Barnheiser. The right. fact that those guys just returned and didn't look at the portal is good. Uh, Ohio State gets an A. Once again, I'm mad about the Michigan grade. If we're giving Ohio State an A. Uh, Good class for sure. What grade would you give Ohio State? Probably like a B plus. Okay, so I just want to make sure I have this part clear. Uh, they lost their second best, maybe best guard to their biggest rival. They lost a former five star recruit to Seton Hall. They lost their starting center to uh, an SEC top fifteen program in the country and replaced the starting center with two different bigs that were less productive than the starting center last year. But they brought Michi Johnson back. And we're, we're thinking that's a great offseason. They hired Jake Diebler, for God's sake. This this one's blowing you away, Tristan. It's an A. That's nice. Uh, I don't I don't like much of this. They brought some talent in, like Stewart and Bradshaw are fine. I give it like a B-. minus. There's a lot I just would have done completely differently. Or or rooted to have happened differently if I'm an Ohio State fan. I'm comfortable to be minus. Okay. Uh next up is Oregon. Tristan gave them an A minus. Oh. I mean, what they add TJ Bamba. Brandon Angel, Raheem Moss, Supreme Cook, Drew Carter is a walk on. They, uh, they, did, they did some solid things. I'd go B though. I'm, I'm not a TJ, I'm not I'm not a Bamba guy. I'm with Tristan A minus because they didn't really lose anybody other than Brennan Rigsby, who went to Minnesota. Um, and he's Brennan Rigsby. So I yeah, I think they got better players in. Oh, Brennan Rigsby. Other guys were out. Penn State, Tristan gives them a C minus. They kept Ace Baldwin. They kept Ace Baldwin. So for that alone. They lost Kanye Clary. They lost Kanye. Okay, yes, yes, I'll C. Uh, Kanye Clary averaged more points per game than all four of their incoming transfers combined. Last ah, they got Puff Johnson back. Yeah, I'm going to give it a C. I'll give it a C. That's the default. Purdue, B- minus from Tristan for Purdue's offseason, which included zero incoming transfers because of their coach, I guess, planning not to use the portal and over-signing high schoolers. Uh, and then losing their biggest high school recruit at the last minute. Tristan goes B minus for that. But we got Jacobson. I mean, it's a it's a very good freshman class, right? Yeah. But good freshman may, class. Let me they just uh, get they, to, to summarize. I'm sorry. They, may, they maintain may, this Michigan one's got you in hell. Mason Gillis is at Duke, helping them compete for a national championship. Ethan Morton's at Colorado State. Not that anybody cares. Uh they did not use the portal willingly because they needed to sign three three-star prospects that are outside of the top 100 and may not be in the rotation this year. And their best freshman left for BYU at the very last minute. That was their offseason, and we got a B grade for that. They, they kept guys, though. So, I mean, who was the threat? Braden? We're worried we're going to lose Braden or, like, Colvin? Yeah, maybe, like, yeah, you never know. Thank God they kept Brian Waddell and Will Burkhart. Um, I Like, I listen, I love Purdue and I love Braden. I don't think we're sitting here being like our offseason went great and we improved. Like, Yeah, they also don't really care about their offseason. Yeah, they're just, like, if we're evaluating just the offseason, I think this was a pretty shitty offseason for Purdue. You, you lost the one dude everybody said was special. Your coach is is owing the portal, and nobody cares. Like <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna break down the freshman class in a couple of weeks and give them really high grades. But like, 
I, I don't see how this is a passing grade, let alone a, a, like a B. So oh, see? give it like a, a D, D plus, because D plus because I like the freshman. Yeah, I'll go D plus. I mean, I, I would have liked them to use the portal and upgrade the roster and try and win a national championship. I would have liked them to return Mason Gillis. I would have liked uh, not bringing in five freshmen that include three three stars. Maybe make that a three man class and go get two guys that help you on the court. I would have liked them to not lose cannon catchings. There's four different things I would have liked that would have made this offseason better for Purdue. So D. D feels right. Uh thank God we didn't have to do a real video on that. That would have gotten us in trouble, I feel like. For sure. Rutgers B plus. Uh I mean they lose Cliff. That's a thing. Um and they replace him with someone who's not close to Cliff. And but on the other hand, fun freshman. Got to remember, fun freshman. Uh, I, that feels about right, I guess. I mean, losing Cliff and not even getting a replacement is like half of this, right? They got one. There's there's a body. Maybe Rutgers fans will probably say like the vibes or an A. If we do off season vibes rankings, I think it would be scored differently than this. For the off season, I'm gonna give Rutgers a C. Like just just letting Cliff get ripped away on the open market with no backup plan is kind of crazy. Yeah, I agree with that. UCLA A plus for Tristan for their offseason. They lost a lot of transfers out. A plus. They lose any good players out? Burke. So no. <laughs> uh, guys, um, A plus seems a little bit too high for my my liking. Yeah, isn't there a good chance Scott Clark's the best player in the incoming class? Yeah. Also, like yes, the guards were a part of guards on bad teams, and then they brought in guards who haven't necessarily won. Players that didn't have necessarily won. Um, I'd feel more comfortable in like the B minus range for this, to be honest with you. I'm fine with like A minus because I think they brought in productive basketball players and got rid of non productive ones, but I just give me, I give, me B, give me B plus. I can't have this in the A. Okay, I'm yeah. I won't fight you on it. B plus. Uh, Tristan's grade for USC is also a B plus. Uh, this should be an A plus. No I'm kidding. Um, I mean they lost everybody. Obviously, given the coaching change, uh, did they get a better coach? Yes. Okay, that's good. That's a good off season. Yeah, I think the off season, if if it includes the hiring decision, <laughs> like USC getting Musselman's huge. So. Yeah, uh, I think I would advocate for like an A, even if you have questions with certain players, which I definitely do. I think I would advocate for this being a really good offseason if you're a USC basketball fan. I'd agree. Yeah, give them an A. Washington gets a B. Uh, again, they hire Danny Sprinkle, get Danny Sprinkle's best player, great awesome board with him, along with DJ Davis, Tyler Harris, other guys. Not a bad offseason by any means. Not a bad offseason. They brought in some guys. Uh, you know, they got some notoriety with awesome board being one of the highest played players. Um, I would say this would be a B. Zoom Diallo. Oh, I like Zoom. Uh, maybe a, maybe a B plus. I'm gonna go B plus. I'm gonna go B plus. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go B plus. And the final one here is Wisconsin. Tristan gives them a C minus. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, no changes. No, that sounds about right. Uh, I mean, you got Hepburn ripped away from you, but also he's Chucky Hepburn, right? So you got a Siegen ripped away from you. You got Store ripped away from you. I don't know how this is in the seats. This should be like a like a D minus. Like, like a F. Like basically th this entire offseason was other programs going around saying, you're poor, you're poor. And Greg Gard like having to answer and address the media and be like, yep, we're poor. So honestly, that's an F for me, Gard. <laughs> I mean, it's, when you put it like that. Yeah, I think it's an F. Okay. Uh, thank you, Tristan. Go, everybody, support Busting Brackets, and uh, make sure you read everything that Tristan Freeman does. But uh, thanks for giving us a great topic.